Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a products I've hit pan on video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time actually, but I thought that it would be fun. I do like to do a lot of project panning and shopping my stash on my channel. So if you are new, please subscribe. I upload four videos a week. If you are wondering about the makeup that I'm wearing, I will list it down below, but I did film this look. It was a member exclusive tutorial, full face of drugstore makeup. So if you are interested in joining the channel membership, you can do that. Info is in the description box and there's also a join button next to the subscribe button. And yeah, I've already uploaded multiple project pan intros for this year, which I'm pretty excited about. You can find all those in the project pan 2023 playlist. And yeah, let's get into this video. First up, this is the Becca highlighter in Prosecco pop. And this wasn't a project pan last year where I was trying to finish it completely. Obviously I did not, but I do have a lot of pan on this. I really do like this highlighter, but sometimes I feel like it's too much of a yellow gold for me and I would prefer something else. So at some point, I think I do want to franken this with another highlighter, which is something I really, really enjoy doing. And yeah, I do have a repressing video that is in the description box. So I maybe I'll film like a short or something next time I do that. Um, it's just really, really easy anyway. So I think at this point, I would want to franken this with a different color that's less golden, um, but I really love the Becca formula. It is really, really good. Now, part of the reason I don't have that much stuff with pan in my collection is that for face products, once I hit pan, I try to finish it up. So uh, that's part of the reason I don't have that many face products with pan. And then when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I don't try to hit pan on eyeshadow anymore. I do the Project 100 uses where I'm trying to get good use on a bunch of my different eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, I don't try to focus on hitting pan on eyeshadow, um, but I do have three eyeshadow palettes in this video. All right, this item, this is almost done. I'm very excited about it. This is a Franken highlighter of an Anastasia one and then the Makeup Forever Loose Highlighter in shade 13. And I pressed it into this Morphe highlighter that I completely panned last year. And it's like, oh gosh, I'm so afraid this is gonna fall all over the floor. Um, yeah, I have repressed this a couple times and there's hardly anything left. So that's something I really, really wanna finish. I love that one for Makeup Forever. And that's something else I've discovered that if I have a loose highlighter that I like, I press it into a compact and then it's way easier to use. So I'm pretty excited that I have done that. All right, moving on. This is quite an old product in my collection at this point. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? Oh yeah, the Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I used this a lot in 2020 and 2021, and I hardly used it last year. So I would like to start focusing on this again at some point. This would be pretty cool to be able to finish this palette. So I have a pan on the highlighter and the bronzer. Obviously, I really enjoy this product. It's a great face palette. And yeah, I think it's really good. So this is something I uh, kind of want to roll into a project sometime this year. I'm not sure. Cause yeah, literally last year, I think I only used this like five times the whole year, but obviously it's a product I've gotten a lot of use out of before that. Um, and also this was expensive. The packaging is really beautiful though. If I did finish this, I would definitely keep the packaging. I do keep a lot of empty compacts from face products that I have finished. And then I use them like I did with this Morphe one to repress other things inside there. This next item I am trying to finish this year, and this is an Anastasia highlighter from one of the glow kits. I can't remember which one, but this is the shade in Summer. And I had hit pan on this quite a while ago. I did scrape a little bit off this edge um, that I repressed in with that Makeup Forever highlighter that I mentioned to you guys, um, but I did hit pan on this quite a while ago. I really like this. I also like that they put the names on here because those glow kits are magnetic so you can remove the highlighters and like rearrange them. So that's what I did with this one. This was from, I don't know, one of the original glow kits. It doesn't say which one. It just says glow kit shade summer, but this is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It is fantastic. So I just have it in this little um, magnetic palette, which is from the Shop Miss A website, which I really, really love. So, but that is something that I'm working on in my powder products 
Project Pan this year, that is something that I do hope to finish. Okay, and then this bronzer, if you watched my Project Pan journey last year, you're probably sick of seeing this thing. I know, it's the Marc Jacobs in Tantric. And yes, I had pan on this years ago and I'm still trying to finish it. I haven't really used it this year because I used it so much last year. I mean, I did expand the pan. So last year the pan was like somewhere like this at the beginning of the year and I used it probably four or five days a week and it only expanded out to here, which is crazy. I mean, there's so much product in this and I have the one in the white packaging too and I tried to hit pan on that one last year and as you know, I failed. I have not hit pan on that one. I mean, talk about getting your money's worth though. These were $50 bronzers. They are discontinued now. Mar Marc Jacobs makeup doesn't exist anymore, um, but I still like this even though, yeah, that's a pretty old product in my collection, but I still really like it. Okay, so like I said, there are three eyeshadow palettes that I have it pan on. This was a total surprise pan, I think last year, on the Retro palette from Natasha Denona. I have pan on this beautiful mauve in Andy, and this is one of the cream to powder formulas, which I really love that formula in her palettes. Um, I don't know, I just happened to hit pan on it. I'm pretty sure that I use this shade almost every time I use this palette because it's like the perfect mauve -y crease shade for working with like berries and purples and all of that, which is obviously the theme of this palette. So this is just for me personally, it's my favorite crease shade for those types of looks. And pretty much every time I use this palette, I use that shade, which is obviously how I hit pan on it. Um, it's great. I. I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. Um, okay, and then the next one is also a Natasha Denona palette. Um, this is the Metropolis. This is one of her older palettes. It's definitely, I think it's discontinued, but actually I said that sometime last year and you guys told me it was still for sale. Um, I think this is one of her best palettes. I didn't use it that much last year. I had pan on this like two years ago. Um, yeah beautiful palette though. I mean, if you love warm tones and this copper is amazing. I just, oh, such a gorgeous palette. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. I kind of want to film, I filmed so many looks with this palette out of all my palettes. I have filmed probably like four Get Ready With Me's with this palette, but I still want to do another one because I just, I love it that much. It's, it's just so good. It's an older palette now. It, that came out like three and a half years ago, I think, but still amazing. Okay, I misspoke. There are four palettes with pan, not three. I totally forgot about this, the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. I hit pan on the dark brown called Endgame. I used to use this as um, brow powder. So that's why there's like that line in it because I use one of those straight like eyebrow brushes to fill in my brows. I haven't done that in a while, but this is a really nice cool toned brown that I used to love using for my eyebrows. So that's how I hit pan on it. I still really like this palette. Um, I feel like, yeah, a lot of people did not enjoy this one. It's not like an intensely pigmented palette. Well, not the metallics. I shouldn't say they're not intensely metallic. They are pigmented, but they're really nice. I like it. Um, I do think the formula on this Urban Decay palette is a little bit better though, and I do love this one as well, the Born to Run palette. So I hit pan on this copper shade called Ignite. And this is a good one. I, I love this palette overall. I have filmed multiple looks with this one too. I think this is like my number two most used palette on my channel after Metropolis. Um, I'm pretty sure I filmed three looks with this one before. And I did, oh, I did a member exclusive video with this one just a few weeks ago as well. So yeah, for my channel members, I filmed a look with this one. It's great. It really, really is. I still love this palette. Again, one of the older ones in my collection, but I still think it's fantastic. So yeah, kind of interesting that I have a pan on two Urban Decay palettes and then pan on, <gasps> okay, this is why I should be banned from owning makeup because I drop it all the time. I dropped this on the floor, but it's still intact. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, okay. I need to be more careful. All right, like I was saying, the other two palettes I happen to have pan on is Natasha Denona, which is interesting that these are the only two brands. I mean, obviously I didn't plan that, but these are kind of palettes that I've had for a while. Well, the retro isn't as old, but the other three are definitely older palettes in my collection. 
um, that I've had for a while, but I really love them. So yeah, that is it for this video. It's been a while since I've done one of these because like I said, especially with face products, when I hit pan, I try to finish the product completely. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, I did film this look for my members if you are interested. And also check out the Project Pan 2023 playlist because I am pretty excited. So excited. It's fun to start new projects and new products to work on. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.